start again. One of the problems I've got is that the butterflies on the three carburetors aren't sort of quite closing. If you release the throttle quickly, they will. If you gently back off the throttle, then they don't quite close. Now, I mean, one of the problems with this car is that um, the three carburetors are SUHS 8s, apparently. Um, and I can't remember what came out on the E-types, but they weren't these. Uh, the linkage is, I think, off a Mark 10, uh, but I'm not too, too sure about that. And I can see some welded bits on the, the linkage, so I think it's all just sort of been cobbled together. Um, there's no way of decoupling the three carburetors. I mean, from what I've read, the idea is that you decouple the, the three, you set the um, butterflies individually to make sure the airflow is the same, then you couple the carburetors up again, and Bob's your uncle. But um, in this case, there's no way of decoupling the carburetors, and I'll show you why in a minute. So here are the three two-inch HS8s, and of course there's no room for a um, conventional air filter here. So um, it's got the three ram flows on there, and the carbies have just been re-jetted uh, to make them slightly richer because apparently they have more airflow uh, capability. And you might notice that um, there's no battery there. There's just not enough room for it. The battery's actually over under the um, uh, front left-hand fender, front left-hand wing. But the problem I've got is this. So the way the linkage works, and I think it's off a of Mark 10 or something similar. Um, so from the uh, accelerator pedal is a rod. And you can see where the rod connects here. And it's sort of um, retained by a spring. So when you open up the accelerator, which I'll try and do, when you open up the accelerator, the rod comes up and the spring tension takes it back down again. And the problem I've got is the butterflies don't actually quite close. So if you go like that, they'll close. But if you just do it gently, you can push the, the lever and you can see it, they don't quite go down right to the bottom. So, I mean, this is not a huge drama, but what it means is, is if you back off the throttle just gently, the car retains an idle just over a thousand RPM. Whereas you, if you come off like that, then um, the idle speed's back down around six, seven hundred, you know, whatever the proper speed is. Um, might not sound like too much, but it's a bit of a pain. So, when you're adjusting the um, the butterflies on each carburetor, you have to raise these up and get down there and fiddle with all the locking nuts. Uh, those little rods have got a left and right hand thread, uh, but it is a real pain in the neck. Every time you make one little adjustment, you have to stop the engine, twiddle with it, making another adjustment, start it up again, and it's really awful. At the moment, the carburetors are going really well uh, with the new jets and the airflow is sort of balanced. But I really want to mm, see if I can invent an idea to just take that movement down a bit. So this is all a bit sort of homemade, this setup. So what I'm thinking of is, you know, the angles are, are all wrong. I mean, the poor old spring uh, is almost trying to pull uh, in exactly the wrong direction that you want. So I'm going to see if I can make something which comes out almost perpendicular from the current lever and then maybe attach the spring sort of further out. So 
I don't know what force that spring exerts, but I'm a mechanical engineer, so I might get my pen and paper out and see if I can make some sort of um, estimation as to what I need to do. This linkage, this plate, which connects to the accelerator rod, which goes down here and then goes through all sorts of convoluted pins and whatnot. Uh, I want to make it sort of a horizontal piece and currently the spring attaches just here what i'd like to do is improve the the leverage or leverage i should say uh out to about here and attach the spring and that will increase the um the moment the force times distance uh that goes to the um accelerator uh, rod mechanism thing so what i'm hoping to do is make maybe make a little plate out here somewhere and there are two holes one is where the linkage uh, sort of bolts on it's just about a five millimeter or well, it's probably three sixteenths um there's a sort of a clevis well not clevis there's a ball joint here and it's connected to a three sixteenths bolt with a nut on this side there's also the hole down here that the spring attaches to so what i'm thinking is to make a plate which has two holes in it so it doesn't wiggle around uh, and then I can re-bolt the accelerator um, linkage uh, bolt through the second plate and then I can make use of the spring hole for a second bolt and then with the plate what I think I'll do is uh, just drill some holes in it and see which hole might have a chance of bringing the accelerator linkage down far enough to finally close those butterflies off. So you can see the problem, so just a tiny bit of movement right at the end. And I suspect that's because the spring really doesn't have much chance. The angles just sort of don't work out. So um, that's the task. So the first thing I'm going to do is because I want my sort of lever extension, if you like, to be horizontal, I'm going to try and measure what the angle is, more or less, of that um, of the current linkage. And it doesn't have to be too fantastic. Right, so I've measured the angle and I've transferred that to a piece of paper so what i think i'm going to do now is just jam jam a screwdriver into the linkage just there to try and keep all the butterflies open and then i've got half a chance of sort of measuring what i've got to deal with here so the critical things here are really the distance center to center to where the accelerator cable not a cable, the accelerator linkage fits and that measures up at about 27 and the distance to the centre of the current hole because I'm going to repurpose that hole for something else is 36 and a half so now what I'll do is I've still got the angled device set at what it was so I'm just going to transpose this onto a piece of paper to see what I need to make So I've got some 32 by um, 3 millimeter steel. So the limiting factor here, I think, is going to be avoiding this heater hose when the throttle goes up. Because it will sort of go jump like that. So it's going to be a bit of a fiddly job. So I think the bit of steel is sort of going to be more or less, uh, that's probably enough to be safer than Soria. Probably put a bit of a radius here. Probably another one there to make it look nice. Hopefully when the throttle opens it'll sort of go like that and clear the heat eyes and then I'll have 
might be a hole there to connect the spring to. Now the other thing I've got to be a bit mindful of here. Is how far down we have that. I think what I'm going to have to do is actually see if I can take this linkage off. So the first thing is to undo the spring. What I do not want to do is lose that spring down the hole somewhere. So this is so tight. Okay, so I've found a hole up there in the bonnet. So coat hangers are a man's best friend. So this is a bit precarious because what I'm going to have to do is um, this little bracket here that holds the whole works on. Um, this has all been welded up, so I can't pull it all to bits. Been welded after the spring was put on by the look of it. Um, I'm going to have to undo the bolt that holds that on and I'm going to have to undo the linkage bolt. So I'll do the linkage bolt first, I think. If that's a 5mm bolt, it's going to be something like an 8mm spanner. It must be a 6 because that's a 10mm. Everything is so tight in this car. Trouble is, if you drop a nut, you'll never find it again. Just, just taking that off. I always have a little plastic container on the bench. I never put nuts and bolts anywhere or I'm going to lose them. And then behind there I think is a 12. Yeah, at some point I better find out what that vacuum line actually does. So once again I always have a little sort of takeaway plastic container to put all the bits and pieces in. Okay, so I don't know what that is, but it's a thing. Right, so I've got the little bracket out and so on. So here's the lever that actuates the throttle and then this is the bracket that holds it up. So I've still got my angle set on this angle thing there, what's it? So what I'm going to try and do is make sort of a bit of a scale diagram of all this. Now here is that um, existing bracket comes down more or less five millimeters to there. So this will be a center line, and then I'll have to work out the center line for the other bit. <coughs> so what have we got? We've got five. And we've got thirty-six point five. Thirty-six point five. To the linkage hole. And 
now that we have 27 from there down. The actual lever, I'm just putting up the top and just sort of more or less rock. So the lever sort of comes around like this. bit of steel which is that wide that's going to be too too wide I think so we're going to want that to sort of go like, a bit like this so now what I'll do is I'll scribe I haven't got any engineers blue but anyway that's all right so, right so it's kind of set up now, I just want to scribe and just leave it. So I've just um, chopped my bracket out and um, I'm just going to do a bit of a test fit here just to see if I'm vaguely close or if there's any chance of this working, which there may not. It's a laborious process and I haven't got too much space to work with to chop off that much. So this is starting to look promising. So we want that spring to hold that down there. We might have more chance of working. with the whole sort of kind of there-ish. <laughs> right, so here we are. I've, um just sort of finished filing the edges of this to make it look a bit more professional. So I'll give it a go in a sec, but basically the idea is um, the spring used to attach where the hex, whoops, where the hex head is, and now it's going to be further out. So hopefully I'll get a bit more spring tension and that'll um, close the butterflies. So I've put my little lever in place now. You can see what it looks like. And you can see how the spring is sort of further out from the axis of the throttle linkage. And even descending slowly, it's closing the butterflies right off. One minor thing I've got to deal with is the spring is actually just slightly touching that heater hose. But I'll sort that out later on. I'm very pleased. I hope you got something out of that video. I actually quite enjoyed doing that little job. It was such an annoying problem that I had to deal with and I had to nut out what to do and also how to fix the problem and then make something. And it was only a teeny little bracket but um, it was very satisfying to do and it works. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.